Yo, what is up guys? It's Bankrupt Dope back with another video. And before we get started, yesterday I asked for 10 y'all subscribe. Only one person subscribed. So I'm gonna throw out right now. I appreciate you got one person subscribed. Now for the other nine people, where y'all at? Y'all need to hit that subscribe button so we can keep getting this content out here and can continue to get better so we can get a certified intro so we can get a face cam in here. So I can really edit my videos. I want all that, y'all. So help me so I can get there and do all that. So I can make content on this game consistently. So I can stream. I want to stream this game so bad. But I don't have the resources to do that. So can y'all help me? Them nine people. Where y'all go ahead that subscribe button. I will appreciate y'all so much. But with all that being said, my girl heard I have something to tell y'all. Y'all see her right there, right? She she just wants to tell y'all something real quick. Now, this is her opinion, not mine. She told me to tell y'all this. So don't don't get however you feel, just know this is her word, right? She told me to tell y'all that me her yo needs sales. Now, some of you might just be sitting and scratch your head like, this is what this whole video is for. Listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I don't think you seem to understand how beneficial and how much more money Mihoyo can make if they add sales and how un how much more desirable it would be to pull and how much more forgiving it would be for people to play the game. Now there's this there's just something about sales that people as humans just love to go and participate in. Whether it be sales coupons, people like those things. They will get things that they don't need if there is a sale going on, right? It's just how people are. Sales are nice. There's this thing that just came up Prime Day. I'm pretty sure we all know what Prime Day is. And I'm sure plenty of people bought things that they did not need or they wanted. And now that there was a sale, they could finally buy it. And these people would not ever buy this thing if it wasn't on sale. So just the fact that it went on sale, it got them to spend money when they normally don't spend money on things at all. They have things like Black Friday. Same thing applies. People go out, they buy things on Cyber Monday. They go out and buy things that... They've been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for it. Now they can finally buy it because it's simply cheaper than what the premium price was. So it's not even the fact that these people are cheap. They just didn't want to pay that price. So now that you have that cheaper price, now they're willing to go pay for it. Or they just have a certain budget and now it fits their budget so they can go buy it. And this goes all the way to the top grossing games. The games that hit top grossing people are the games that go on sale. Now, you might not know... What games constantly? I don't even know what games all hit top grossing, but I know what game that I play that consistently hits top grossing throughout the year, and that game is called Dokken Battle. I know I reference it a lot, but it's worth mentioning because ever since the game has released, y'all, this is not like it's a new thing. Since day one to now, eight years later, they have consistently hit first place on the App Store, whether it be Apple or android for their major banners it is very rare that they don't hit it now there have been times where they're not hit but for the most part they have hit their first place and even outside of their major celebrations they hit first place you want to know why because of sales and so let's say you don't hit first place right what's the benefit benefit for these companies to go on sale what would be the benefit for me to go on sale right now if you guys look at this four pack Four dollar and fifteen dollar. If they cut the pricing up, this the amount of gems you get for like let's say for this fifteen dollar pack, they cut that price down to ten dollars or even seven dollars. I think seven is the perfect number. So they can either up the four ninety nine to seven dollars. I'm ki I kid you not, guys. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is the, in my opinion, the best way to get people to spend money. You put this $7 pack up to five purchases, right? Five purchases. And you give them, it has to be around three multis worth. I'm not sure how to do the math. Like I can only do the math in like 50s because that's what I'm used to. But if you put this at seven, seven dollars, five purchases, for th around three multis, behold, you're listening to me. I don't think y'all seem to understand how many people will buy that. I know it seems like I'm just talking, and it's like you just gotta know what you're talking about. 
I'm so serious. I don't think you guys seem to understand how enticing it is if I was to get. Let's see. Would it be 980? Would the 980? If the 980 was where for the seven dollar price, people would buy that like hotcakes. If you do that right there, the 980 purchase for seven dollars five times only, people would buy that. You do that every month. I'm so serious. You'd have people that don't spend money on this game spend money on the game. I know it seems like, oh, he's just talking about it, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. As a person that plays the game that consistently hits top grossing, you need to seem to understand how many people only buy stones and buy currency on sale. That is the only time, because truth be told, that's the only time it's worth it. And even then, in my personal opinion, it's never worth it to buy currency in game. If you really want to sit here and get down to it, it is never worth it to buy currency in game. So how do you make it worth it or better? Put on a sale. That's all Milio has to do. And they'll have people break and bank. So with that being said, now people want to talk about, oh, we don't want to ruin the game. The game will be fun if I have every character in the game. No, it won't. No, it won't. The game will still be fun. We know why. We already went over it. The game gatekeeps us so hard. It doesn't matter if you pull all the characters. It literally doesn't matter at this current moment in the game. But it'd be nice if you could at least save a large chunk of these Stellar Jade for a light cone and a character in the future rather than just getting the free-to-play amount and you can only get a character. Because let's be honest, you don't get enough to get what you want. You can get the character, but you can't get the light cone. This is a problem that a lot of other games don't have to deal with because they're not two separate banners. But when you have two separate banners and you give out such a cut amount of Stellar Jade or a currency, premium currency, you make it nigh impossible for your free-to-play players to build characters and have them be viable for hard content to really use the character at full potential. A lot of other games, you can use the characters at a decent potential without having to pull dudes, without having to pull a weapon because there are no weapons. A lot of other games, it's just the character and that's it. But not me, oh you. They separate it between weapon and character and they do not give out enough currency to make that balance worth it. There simply isn't. You guys can say whatever you want. All these, all these other YouTubers can say whatever they want. Oh, well, how, how generous did they give me 10? 10 is not generous with the way that the system is in this game. It is actually pitiful if you ask me. 10 tickets plus even 10,000 Seller J. Is, no, I'm not going to say it. It ain't enough. It ain't enough. Period. It just isn't. So. How do you get people to spend money on this game? How do you get people more interactive? How do you make people more happy than what they are? Just let them, let us save some money. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I don't got to stress it out. Let us save some money. Mijo, yo, throw some sales up. Throw some sales up. I didn't say through the double. The double was nice and all, but I said a sale. That $100 pack, cut that down to 50 and give us the same amount for $50. Well, what did he just say? The $50, the $100 when cut it down to $50, give us the same amount or more for the one-time purchase. For the 40 to 49, cut it down by 10%. Give us a 10% increase of Stellar J and people will buy it. You fluctuate these prices like that. Even though we're not buying it multiple times, people will buy it for the one time because it looks appealing. It's all about the look. And if you do that, it looks appealing. Oh, but people are going to get the guaranteed banner you did in one multi. Yeah. But what does that matter when you have plenty of other whales that I still got to go for E6, still have to get the superimposed light cone? They won't, it won't hurt anything. If anything, it'll do better. But I'm just taking this from the standpoint of games that hit number one. And those games have sales. And if I'm not mistaken... Mihoyo's Genshin games or Honkai games don't get number one. That, that's all I will say. If I am not mistaken, and if they do, they definitely don't reward their players for it. But from what I can gather, Honkai games do not go number one in the app store and it is their own fault. 
All they have to do is go on sale. Just go on sale. Stop restricting every little thing we do. They restrict the gameplay hours. They restrict the gameplay rewards. They restrict how much you can really buy. Yes, you can obviously buy whatever you want because it's your own card. But if we're talking about the general population, they restrict the general population by not making things more affordable. So, mijo, yo, you'll never see this video because I'm just a nobody. Go ahead and give us some sales. I truly do think that would make your game far more competitive in the app wars for best gotcha game. That's just my opinion. But at the end of the day, that is just my opinion. I'll probably be alone in it. Ten people will probably see this video. So it is what it is. But I said what I had to say. So thank you all for watching. If you watch, drop a like on the video. Comment something down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.